Today, we're diving deep into the heart of smartphone performance, the processor. Specifically, we're dissecting Google's Tensor chips with a particular focus on the recently leaked details about the Tensor G4 and glimpse into the future of the Tensor G5. Let's get started. Google's foray into custom silicon began with the Tensor G1, a bold move that signaled the company's ambition to control its hardware destiny. This inaugural chip laid the groundwork for what was to come. The subsequent Tensor G2 brought refinements, but it was clear that Google was aiming higher. The Tensor G4, as per leaked promotional materials for the Pixel 9 Pro, has been touted as game-changing. While it's undoubtedly an improvement over its predecessor, the question of whether it truly lives up to this bold claim is a subject of intense debate. To dissect this further, let's delve into the specifics. The Tensor G4 boasts specific architectural improvements such as core configurations, clock speeds, etc. These enhancements translate to tangible performance gains in various benchmarks, including mentioned specific benchmarks and scores. However, benchmarks tell only part of the story. Real-world performance influenced by factors like thermal management, software optimization, and AI workloads is equally crucial. When we compare the Tensor G4 to its direct competitors like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Dimensity 9300, a nuanced picture emerges. While it holds its own in certain areas such as specific strengths of the Tensor G4, it might fall short in others, particularly in specific areas where competitors excel. While raw performance numbers are essential, they can encompass the entire picture. The Tensor G4's impact on everyday tasks such as gaming, photography, video editing, and AI-powered features is what truly matters. For instance, the Tensor G4's specific feature could potentially enhance specific use case. However, to truly assess its capabilities in these areas, we need to conduct in-depth tests and real-world comparisons. The Tensor G5 is shrouded in mystery, but the leaks and rumors paint a promising picture. Built on TSMC's advanced 3M process and designed from the ground up by Google, it promises to be a technological leap forward. Key areas of focus for the Tensor G5 are expected to include highlight potential areas like AI acceleration, image processing, and power efficiency. If Google can deliver on these promises, the Tensor G5 could redefine the smartphone experience. Beyond raw performance, the integration of hardware and software is crucial. Google's Android operating system, coupled with its AI prowess, offers a unique opportunity to optimize the Tensor chips for specific tasks and applications. For instance, features like example of Google-specific feature could be significantly enhanced by the Tensor chips, providing a cohesive and optimized user experience. The Tensor G4 represents a step forward for Google, but the game-changing label might be premature. The Tensor G5, however, holds the potential to truly disrupt the smartphone market. As we eagerly await its release, the future of Google's Silicon strategy appears promising. We'll continue to monitor developments and provide in-depth analysis. Stay tuned for more updates. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5X optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3X optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3X zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. 
Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.